Get ready everyone, real estate sales in Florida may be getting a real boost from a rule in the federal tax bill that President Trump recently signed into law back in December. The rule caps SALT, or state and local tax deductions, at $10,000, when before those deductions were unlimited. Those include real estate and either income sales, income taxes, or sales taxes. For wealthy people who itemize deductions, income taxes alone exceed that amount, let alone property and sales taxes. Along with its sunshine and coastlines, Florida has long been sold as a tax-friendly state. The cap on SALT deductions could be a tipping point that pushes some high-income residents in other areas of the country to look at calling Florida home and take advantage of the Sunshine State's lower taxes. We all know it's cheaper to own and operate a home in Florida, and this has always been attractive, but now this is even more attractive. These potential clients, they also live in relatively high tax states such as New York, New Jersey, the whole Northeast, California, and others that can make officially declaring Florida their home a more attractive pro proposition because it has no state income tax. There's recently been an uptick in interest from clients in higher tax states who are looking at buying homes in Florida and declaring Florida the state of their official domicile. As an example, New York has a maximum 8.82% per, per, income tax, so tax on any income over $120,000 has already exceeded that $10,000 deduction cap. There are many choices here in the Northeast Florida and a great deal of new construction in St. Johns County currently close to 10,000 homes being built, not, a, not to mention an expansion of quality retail and roadways. There has never been a better time, so if you're interested in buying a property or selling your home, contact us today. We're here to help. As always, the answer to everything in today's real estate market is finding solutions. It's what we do. Until next time.